Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Mystical and today I'm going to be answering a question that I get a lot and it's how to set up my party add-on. It's actually not an add-on, it is the standard Blizzard UI, but I'm going to go through my settings and show you guys what I have. So, for those of you who don't know, to access the raid profile, you just go to interface, raid profiles, it should be all the way down at the bottom, and you're going to get this screen. I'm going to make a new one, and this is what yours should look like when you first um, get into the settings. This is what it's going to look like, and we're going to change it. Now, I raid and PvP, so I do have a lot, you can see, and it's cool. I'll show you how to change it, but... um this is the first thing I click is I use raid style party frames that's just how it looks like this without being in a raid so if I have three people in the group or two people or less um, it's just gonna have the raid looking style frames which I like but if you're if you like it like that it doesn't matter whatever you're comfortable with I just like this more I keep the groups uh, no I don't I just sort them by group that's mostly for raiding if you PvP it doesn't really matter too much display incoming heals I like this because I just like to see how much like if I'm gonna top somebody off so I don't need to spend extra mana on you know healing display power bars I don't use this in twos or threes or RBGs basically when I PvP this shows mana of your your team so it shows rage energy stuff like that I use it when I raid but I don't use it when I PvP just because it's I don't need to know that information like I, I don't need to know the next part is display aggro highlight I actually use this for pets in PvP because I do have pr provoke macroed into most of my abilities and I want to know when the pet will be attacking me hopefully to break crowd control display class colors right here so you can see I was a uh, dark green and I'm the monk green and that's for every class and I like it because uh, it just shows who I'm playing with and what classes I'm playing with display pets I definitely use because you're gonna want to heal warlock pets and death knight pets if you're I don't use it in RBGs that much because I really don't care about pets and the hunters and warlocks are usually sitting a base but in twos and threes I'm definitely displaying pets display main tank and assist there's no tanks or assist in PvP so I just uncheck that display border I take that off because I really don't like it. See, you see the border around the raid frames, but um, it's up to you. I don't like it, so I take it off. Show debuffs. I check the display only dispellable debuffs because I don't care about any debuff that I can't dispel. You know, I I don't need to know any information that I don't. That's it's useless to me. And now this is where you get to customize the size of the frames. Um, I use health percentage because. Vim and Vigor is 80% or higher, and I want to know when I'm at 80%. And it's also good to show for teammates because Warrior Execute is really strong, so I want to keep them above 20%. Back to adjusting this, I, in threes, I really like to have it max height, max width. That's just so it's easier for me to see them, like that, the health. That's basically it. Uh, in RBGs, you could see, let's save this real quick. In RBGs, it's a lot smaller. In the raid it's smaller and then if I'm in a big raid with 25 or 40 people which I'll show you how to do it is the smallest it can possibly be but for now if we're just following my three settings this is what I use max height max width and then over here it's easy you auto activate on so if you have a two or three person group um, for threes this right here is going to activate when two three or five people are in my group and it's also going to work if I'm a Brewmaster, Miss Weaver, Windwalker, and if I'm in PvP or PvE. That's just, these I just always check for all of them. It's basically, it comes down to these. Now, if I'm raiding, it'll be set to this profile because I'll be with 10 or 15 people. And if I'm in a big raid, let's say I do Ashrin or, um, what's, what's that raid battleground? Altric Valley. I don't know. Altric Valley, Isle of Conquest. And you're in a big, you don't want to have, like, your 40 people with this size uh, party frames you want to have you know small ones so I keep it small um, it's up, up to you but I just don't like having frames taking up my whole screen and finally you unlock it by just doing this you could slide this up for how big you want the party to be and just slide it over here and that's just where I have it and that's pretty much it there's nothing else to it I know it's kind of boring but I get the question a lot and uh, I don't mind answering it so um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope everyone learned something. Um, hope people find this useful. 
and hope everyone had a great weekend and is enjoying the Windwalker buffs. I am playing too much Windwalker, honestly. And that's pretty much it. I will see you later.